Hello everyone, I'm the guy Estrella and we're here with quick explanation time. Let's see what we got here. We got three people, three people to replace in class 1A, and three quirks to explain fully. Or the basics, since I intend to give them quirk evolutions right around the raid arc, I want to call it. Basically where they save Aerie and the quirk racing bullets are brought into play, but first Let's actually get to explaining some of these quirks and why or the characteristics behind said quirks. First off, we're going to start with what seems to be the very simple quirk, but I'm not too sure yet. It's my story, and it's my first story based off MHA, my own character's quirk, which is what I'm calling Red Mage. This is going to be a bit complicated because Red Mage has a few odd things. First off, it's a stockpile quirk. A stockpile admitter quirk. Based off how much kinetic damage or energy I have stored up in my skin. I don't think I'm going to add a max to it. But the most destructive part is the capacity of my character's gauge, metaphorically. The amount of kinetic energy I have stored up already since I'm making this character a light bloomer is too deadly to say right now. Now that I think about it, my character fights a little bit more like a magic monk from an RPG game. Despite that, he still stubbornly calls his quirk and his hero name Red Mage for reasons that may seem obvious to me but doesn't really seem that obvious to anyone else. He's a monk fighter, he's replacing Sugar Man, the guy with all the cakes in his dorm room, which is weird for me, and the limiters of his quirk, since he's going to be a late bloomer, is that for four years he got his quirk at eight. He's been storing up energy and just let it out one day. Second guy, the one who I honestly don't know what his personality is going to be yet, but I still have the quirk down, so I'm just going to go with it, is the man who seems to be smiling like Bakugo right before a fight. Um, His quirk is a little bit easier to understand. He basically controls greenery, grass. Not just grass, trees, branches, stuff like that, but he has to be in a certain range. The amount of stuff he can control in that radius, so far, at the start of the what if, I'm limiting to like three plants. If he pushes himself, he can do a fourth plant, and he can stretch the plant however much for four miles. Like, say, a little blade of grass. He can grow that tiny blade of grass into a four mile long grass pipe or something like that. Basically he controls greenery but only three plants at a time right now. I don't really know his weakness. Now that I think about it, the very common and basic Molotov or Fire Quirk user might be one of his only weaknesses. It might be something else. Like I mean, say he shows symptoms of Down Syndrome, or I don't remember the disability where it just saps all your emotions away, but he might just have that when he grows things past four miles. I don't know. It, it's it, it, it's weird. It, I don't know. We're just going to go with it. This guy is also replacing someone in Class 1A. I'm pretty sure his name is Cellophane. Don't. I'm pretty sure that's Cellophane the tape guy. He's replacing him. Last but not least, we have the guy who quite literally looks like he's only there to learn how to give people, villains mainly, hands. His quirk is actually very simple. It's lightning, but it's a lightning based quirk, but it is technically an emitter and enhancement type quirk, which is weird, but basically it enhances his speed and strength for temporary bursts because every time he uses it, he gets stupid angry. And I'm pretty sure this guy's replacing Tailman. And that's about it for the what ifs and the quirk explanation. I'm going to hopefully have the first part up in if everything falls into place correctly two weeks. If everything falls ahead of schedule, one. That's it. I'm that guy, Shira. I'll see you guys later.